Now, a WGAL News 8 Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. It's been a beautiful Thursday across the Susquehanna Valley. Temperatures rising well above average this afternoon and just some passing clouds to go through the afternoon and now into the start of the evening hours. Let's take you back to early this morning. This was over York. It was a chilly start of the day with temperatures in the 20s, but man, oh man, did we have a fiery sunrise with those passing high level clouds. Did get some decent breaks in the clouds throughout the day, but we're starting to see them become thicker and they will stay thick this evening on into the overnight hours. But that spring like feel that's going to be sticking around as well. Should be a pretty sunset out there across the valley. A great afternoon into the evening to walk the dog or just get some fresh air. Temperatures about 10 to 15 degrees above average. This is what we typically see in mid March 53 right now in York with calm winds going through the evening. It'll be mostly cloudy mild for February after sunset. We'll see those temperatures start falling into the 40s overnight tonight. It won't be as cold as last night we will be about 10 degrees warmer with lows in the low to mid 30s and then for tomorrow may see an isolated shower as we get closer to I'd say eight to nine o'clock. That's the best chance for a passing shower, but most of us will stay dry and then we'll get some breaks in the clouds during the afternoon and it's going to be a warm day with highs up near 60 degrees. Taking a live look at live local eight scanning the skies may see a sprinkle or two up towards Lewistown, Sealands Grove, uh, Sealands Grove rather and Pottsville. The rest of us will just continue to see some passing clouds. It is warmer than yesterday and the reason why is that wind shift. The wind are now primarily out of the south and they'll stay out of the south through the night and also for the majority of tomorrow. Right now it's 52 in Lebanon, the same in Carlisle and 53 at this hour in York. Notice temperatures even warmer off to our southwest 60 right now in Cincinnati, 62 in Memphis. So warm across the eastern third of the country, but there's the change. We have a storm system moving across the upper plains, but that's going to move by to our north and west. A cold front attached to the storm will just help usher in some spotty rain chances may see isolated showers tomorrow. Better chances for hit or miss showers will be around on into Saturday. So watch what happens here on the predictor. There you can see the passing clouds, but there it is the opportunity for an isolated shower first thing in the morning, but most of us will continue to stay dry. Here comes that storm's cold front and another weak wave of low pressure will ride along it. Looks like we're dry to start on Saturday, but during the afternoon, early evening, you could see a few passing showers again, light and intensity, not going to be a washout and temperatures will still be warm. I do expect some cooler air will move in on Sunday and we stay dry, but the seasonal chilly air that's going to get here on Monday and it's going to interact with our next storm system. Depending on this storm's track, we could start off with rain, but it may switch over to a wintry mix or even some light snow going through the day on Tuesday. We will continue to keep you posted that winter chill that is around all next week with highs near 40 degrees for Valentine's Day. And then look at the temperatures for the following weekend. We're only staying in the upper 30s for highs for both Saturday and Sunday.